Whitaker from ITS Partners, and today I'm going to walk you through downloading, importing, and updating management packs in Microsoft System Center Operations Manager 2012 SP1. First, you want to open your Operations Console. And you'll notice when the console opens, it defaults to the Monitoring Workspace. We want to change to the Administration Workspace and then locate Management Packs in the menu tree. When I select that menu item, you'll notice that a list is returned of all the currently installed management packs, as well as several bits of information about them, including the version and when they were last imported. For the purposes of my example today, I'm bringing on some new mail servers, and I know I want to monitor those, so I'm going to go search for management packs that can help me accomplish that system administration task. Now, typically, you may right-click on management packs and go download new packs, locate the downloaded MP files, and then import them into your operations manager. System Center Operations Manager 2012 SP1 gives you a nice shortcut here and allows you to do that in a single step. So I'm going to select Import Management Packs, and then when the wizard opens, I'm going to choose Add and Add from Catalog. This is going to allow me to go out and search the catalog directly on the marketplace without first having to download the management packs. So I know that I have a new mail server coming on, as I mentioned, so I want to search for Exchange 2013. I'm going to leave the view as all management packs in the catalog and click the search button. We can see here that a single row was returned. And as I drill down, you'll see that Exchange Server is the product group, and then Exchange 2013 is the product. And in that product, I have a single management pack available for Microsoft Exchange Server 2013. I can see that it's currently not installed. And I can also see that it was released pretty recently, so I'm pretty sure that's the one that I want. I'm going to leave that row selected and click the Add button, and then click OK. What just happened was the wizard went ahead and validated uh, and ensured that any dependencies for that management pack were resolved, and it's now indicating that my management pack is ready to import. And all I need to do is go ahead and click the Install button. It quickly downloads the management pack, and now it's currently importing that into my Operations Manager. You can see that the process completed successfully is indicated by the green check mark and the status has changed to import it. I can now hit the close button to dismiss the wizard and in just a few seconds Microsoft Exchange Server 2013 will pop into the list here of my currently available and installed management packs. We can now verify that Microsoft Exchange Server 2013 is an available and installed management pack and it was just recently imported. Another thing you may want to do is keep your management packs up to date as you update the components which they monitor. In my example, I know that I have some Microsoft System Center 2012 Configuration Manager management packs installed, and I want to make sure that those are up to date because I just updated that infrastructure. And I can see here that those three management packs were actually last imported in February, so I have a pretty good idea that they might be outdated. Now there are a few different ways to get to updating these management packs, but I'm going to show you what I think is the simplest. I'm going to bring in my task pane, and I'm going to go ahead and go back to import management packs, and I'm going to choose add, add from catalog. I'm going to go out and query that catalog, and I'm going to search for configuration manager. What I'm going to do differently this time is going to change the view from view, all management packs in the catalog to updates available for installed management packs. When I click the search button, you can see a single row is returned for the vendor, the product group, and then the product. And we can see that I have three management packs which currently have a status of update available, and they have new versions and slightly later release dates. I'm going to go ahead and shift select and then click add and then click OK. We can see here that it's verified my dependencies are met and I'm ready to import these management packs. So I'm going to go ahead and click the install button. You can see those were very quickly downloaded and we're currently importing our new management packs. Now you'll notice that only two of the three management packs we selected were successfully imported. If I wanted to research this, I could click on the first management pack which shows a red X and a status of import failed and review the details. And we can see here that I actually requested a version from the database that was not available. And an older version is actually the one available. So it's possible here that this management pack was removed or otherwise revoked, and I haven't updated my catalog list. 
I can hit the close button to dismiss the wizard. And we can go back and notice that two of the three management packs were actually updated, but not this third one. Now another way to look at this is to go back to download management packs. And we're going to click add to go out to the catalog. And I'm just going to search for configuration manager. I'm going to view all management packs in the catalog and click the search button. We see the vendor and the product group, but this time you'll notice that because I searched the entire catalog, there are more versions of that product available. Now I'm interested particularly in the one that did not download, so I'm going to go out and search for that. We can see here that it's currently offering me that management pack, and it knows that an update's available. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one, click Add, and then click OK. And now I'll retry the import of that new management pack update. First, I'm going to download the new management pack. We can see that the status was downloaded. I'm going to close to dismiss the wizard. And now I'm going to go into the second step, which is to actually import the downloaded management pack. This time, I'm going to add from disk. It's going to notify me that it may have dependencies, which we'll validate. I'll click yes to go back to the catalog and get the latest dependencies. And you can see here that I'm at my download path. I'm going to choose this management pack and click open. And we can see here that I have a blue circle with an eye to indicate that there's information available. I'm going to choose install. And now we can see that I have a green check mark and my status reflects that it has been imported. I'm going to go ahead and click close to dismiss the wizard. And we see that in my management pack list that all three of my configuration manager management packs are now at the current version. So hopefully that helps you as you try to download and import and update your management packs. It's very important to keep those current, especially as you update the rest of your infrastructure for those items that you're monitoring. Thanks for joining us today and see you on the next podcast.